We're asked to graph the circle x squared plus y squared minus 10y plus 16 equals zero. To graph the circle, we'll write the equation in standard form, which is the form shown here. Normally to write the equation in this form, we have to complete the square on the x part and the y part of the equation. But notice in this equation, we have an x squared term, but no x term, and therefore we can write x squared as the square of x minus zero. Let's begin by doing that. We would have the quantity x minus zero squared, and then we have a y squared and y term, and therefore we will have to complete the square on the y part to make a perfect square trinomial to write the y part in the form of the quantity y minus k squared. So let's write this as plus y squared minus 10y. To complete the square, we'll have to add a constant here, so let's write plus blank and let's subtract 16 on both sides, so we have equals negative 16. And now we'll make a perfect square trinomial in terms of y. To complete the square, we need to add the square of half of b to both sides of the equation, where b is the coefficient of y, which is negative 10. So if b is negative 10, half of b is going to be negative five. The square of negative five is positive 25, which means we add 25 here to make the y part a perfect square trinomial, and to maintain equality, we also add 25 to the right. And now let's factor the y part of the equation and simplify the right side. So we still have the quantity x minus zero squared plus, and now we'll factor the y part. And notice how the right side is going to be positive nine. So the factors of y squared are y and y. The factors of positive 25 that add to negative 10 are negative five and negative five, giving us two factors of y minus five. And therefore we can write the equation in standard form, which is the quantity x minus zero squared plus the quantity y minus five squared equals nine. And again, looking at the standard form, to identify the values of h and k, we do have to have subtraction, which we do and therefore h is zero and k is five, the center is the ordered pair zero comma five. Notice how for the y coordinate, because we have y minus five here, the y coordinate of the center is positive five. And looking at the right side of the equation, r squared is equal to nine, and because nine is equal to three squared, r is equal to three, r is always positive, so the radius is three units. Now we can graph the circle. Let's first plot the center, zero comma five is this point here on the y-axis. And because the radius is three, to sketch this by hand, from the center, we will go right three units, left three units, up three units, and down three units. These four points are four points on the circle, which will help us make an accurate graph. The graph of the circle, looks something like this. Where again, zero comma five is the center, and the radius, the distance from the center to any point on the circle is three units, which should be this distance here. I hope you found this helpful.